Hello Super Traders, here are the week ahead upcoming major events. Starting with Sunday, February 8. At 2.30 a.m., the Chinese trade balance print came in higher than economists expected and higher than the previous month. The positive trade balance print presented an improvement in the Chinese economy. At 11.50 a.m., the Japanese current account results will come out. The results are expected by economists to increase from the month before. Monday, February 9. During the trading day, the G20 first day of meetings will take place. In the meeting will attend finance ministers and central bankers from 20 industrial nations, including the G7 nations. At 12.15 a.m., the Royal Bank of Australia Governor Glenn Stevens speaks will take place. Governor Stevens is expected to discuss the central bank last week's decision to cut the nation's interest rate from 2.50% to 2.25%. At 12.30 a.m., the Australian's and New Zealand's Banking Group Jobs Advertisements monthly print will come out. Last month, the print presented 1.11% improvement from December 2014. At 5 a.m., the Japanese consumer confidence results will come out. The results are expected by economists to present an increase in the Japanese consumer confidence from the month before. At 6 a.m., the Japanese Economy Watcher sentiment print is forecast to increase 0.5 points from the previous month. Moving forward to the Asian session, at 7 a.m., the German trade balance month results will be published. The results are expected to present an improvement in the nation's trade balance during the last month. In the US session, at 1.15 p.m., the Canadian housing stars monthly print is expected to come out positive after last month's negative results. At 3 p.m., the U.S. Labor Market Conditions Index monthly results will be published. At 9 p.m., the U.S. Federal Open Market Committee members Powell Speaks will be broadcast. Tuesday, February 10. At 12.30 a.m., the National Australian Bank Business Confidence Print will be published. At 1.30 a.m., the Chinese Consumer Price Index yearly print will be released. The print is expected to present a decline from the previous year. The event will be followed by the Chinese Producer Price Index incoming print. The print is expected by economists to come out negative. The European session will start at 7.45 a.m with the French Industrial Production monthly print. The print results are expected to come out higher than the month before. At 8.15 a.m., the Swiss Consumers Price Index monthly print is expected to present a minor decline from the previous month, remaining below zero. Moving on to the US session, at 1.20 p.m., the US FOMC member Lakel Speaks will be broadcast. At 5.45 p.m., the Canadian Governor, Council Member Wilkin Speaks will be broadcast as well. Wednesday, February 11. The first event of the day will take place at 12.30 a.m., when the Australian Home Loans monthly print will come out. The print is expected to present a major improvement from the month before. Moving on to the European session, the Eurogroup meetings will take place during the trading day. We will update on the meeting developments and announcements at Super Trader TV daily live shows. The US session will start with the US crude oil inventories weekly print. The print results will be published at 3.30 p.m. At 9.30 p.m., a new trading session will start in the Asian market with the New Zealand's Business Manufacturing Index. The event will be followed by the Reserve Bank of Australian Assistant Governor Speaks. Thursday, February 12. At 12.30 a.m., the Australian Employment Change Reading will be published. The reading is expected to present negative results. At the same hour, the Australian Unemployment Rate results will come out. The results are expected to present a minor increment. Moving forward to the European market. At 10 a.m., the European Industrial Production monthly print will be published. The print's results are expected to increase from the previous month. 
At 10.30 a.m., Bank of England Governor Carney Speaks will take place. The event will be followed by Bank of England Inflation Report. In the US market, at 1.30 p.m., the Canadian New Housing Price Index results will come in. Economists are expected the print to improve from the month before. At the same hour, the US core retail sales and unemployment claims monthly prints are expected to present negative incoming results. At 10.30 p.m., the Asian market new trading session will start with the Reserve Bank of Australia, Governor Stephen Speaks. Friday, February 13. The European session will start at 6.30 a.m. with the French Berlin GDP quarterly print. The print's results are expected to decline from the previous quarter. At 7 a.m., the German Berlin GDP quarterly print is forecast to present an improvement from the previous quarter. At 7.45 a.m., the French Berlin non-farm payroll quarterly print is forecast to present a decline from the previous quarter. At 8.15 a.m., the Swiss Producer Price Index monthly results will come out. The results are expected to present a further decline below zero from the month before. At 10 a.m., the European Flash GDP quarterly results are forecast by economists to remain the same as the previous quarter. Moving on to the U.S. session. At 1.30 p.m., the Canadian manufacturing sales monthly print is forecast to increase 0.5% from the previous quarter. The last event of the week will take place at the same hour when the U.S. import prices monthly results will come out. The print's results are expected to be negative. Those are the week ahead upcoming major events where we wish you all a happy and profitable trading week.